Hello, welcome back. This week we're going to talk about is your electrical system on 110 volts or is it on 220 volts? Now, if you have a sub panel like this, that's pretty easy to figure out, all right? If you have a call a single pole or a breaker that's all by itself that's 110 volt right if you have a double pole or a double breaker that's connected then you have 220 volts this is already um, diagrammed out but let's pretend it wasn't right um, and all we had was this and my whole system was just set up on one breaker since it's a double breaker, right? 110 plus 110 is 220. So that means that this system, this specific system in this example, this would be a 220 breaker, okay? That's pretty simple. So single pull, again, 110, right? If it's a double, double breaker, right? You're under 220. All right, so had to fast forward that part a little bit. So we went over the breaker system. A lot of times you're not gonna have a sub panel like this. A lot of times you're gonna have a box in a wall just with your timer, okay? If we're going just off of a timer because you don't have anything else like that and it's very common just to have this sticking out of a wall, right? You're gonna look at how many um, contacts you have over here. And since you have one, two, three, four plus a common, that's gonna be an indication that this uh, timer and this electrical system is going to be on a 220 volt. I'm going to go to Home Depot or I'm going to find another one uh, and you're going to notice that the timers that you're going to notice that the timers that are on 110 volts and not on the 220 they're going to have less receptacles. I don't even know what these are called. I'll find out what they're called um, but instead of having one, two, three, four plus a common there, it, it's going to be three. Okay, so if you're at your house, it's an old place, you're moving in, whatever, you never paid attention to this and need to figure out what kind of, uh, you know, system you have. Is it 110 or 120? You don't have the breakers, you just have this dial sticking out of the wall. Look at the boxes right here. And uh, a lot of this comes with a cover sheet, right? And a screw. Unscrew it. Turn off all the power, first of all. Turn it all off. And count how many contacts you have, okay? So that's it for this week. Uh, I'll probably put a insert somewhere in this video of what the 110 volt timer mechanism actually looks like, but that's it. So am I on 110, am I on 220? If you got a breaker system, look at the breaker. If you have just the timer mechanism, look at the timer mechanism. Any comments, leave them down below. If you're still watching this video up to this point, don't forget to subscribe. If you've had any uh, help, if any of these videos have helped you in the last two summers, uh, we would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you so much. See you next time.